Let me quickly repeat the intro for people that haven't seen part 1. So, not only Cataclysm has been officially announced long time ago, but we got also some words regarding the beta test of it. This means that the Dave days of Zul Group are slowly being counted one by one. Originally ZG or Zul Group, uh, I'm going to refer to it as G ZG from now on, has been removed during patch 403, which according to Wopedia and Wowhead was no part of pre-patch, which was patch 401. According to the original timeline we get roughly 3 patches, 4 depends on how you count it, during which ZG is still farmable and remains in the game. But with patch 403 it got removed and later in patch 410 replaced by its dungeon counterpart. That much about the history. How it's gonna go with classic we don't know yet. My hope is that it's gonna be like with Onyxia, we'll be given option to toggle between old ZG and new ZG, but we haven't heard single word regarding that so I would not count on it. Regardless of that, right now is the perfect time to start farming the old tiger and raptor and this is what this video is about. I am going to split it into two parts, so this is second part and we are gonna focus on the tiger. If you wanna see the raptor, then watch the first part, it's linked on the screen right now. I will teach you how to solo farm it, the tiger this time around, as most classes, as well as I am going to explain some shortcuts and gear and you can you can take with you to make it easier, blah blah blah. And also I'm gonna explain how the short lockout of ZG actually works. And let's start with the lockout because it's the easiest part. Unlike majority of raids, ZG is on 3 day lockout. This means that the raid resets every 3 days instead of every 7 days. Because of this, you cannot count on Wednesday being reset day. Rather, simply check your in-game calendar or raid tabs for info about resets. Generally, you can clear ZG twice a week. Well, the intro is behind us. Well, anyway, now for the classes. For the purpose of this video, we are talking about farming High Priest Tackle for his Tiger Mount. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, I don't care. Uh, I decided to split it into all the available classes into three categories. That's easy, effort and not worth it. Easy are classes that can literally walk there, face tank the boss, kill him and be on their merry way. And these classes are, again, DK, Valkyrie Paladins, Feral Druids and maybe Warriors. I'm not sure about the Warriors, because I will explain later, but my friend farmed it as a Warrior and he said it's rather easy. These classes can largely just face tank the boss, some of them need to have at least Ulduar or higher PvE gear or ICC phase or honor PvP gear. Namely everyone beside DK and maybe Feral Druid will have to get geared first. DK will be fine with any gear that's not just leveling greens. In the Effort category we got Hunter, Rogue, Balanced Druid, yes, we got Balanced Druid, Shadow Priest and Shamans. All these classes, you need to clear out the whole area surrounding the boss, not to pull them during the end counter. If your class has ability to heal, make sure to utilize it. But usually, it's not the high DPS that kills you in this boss fight. I would personally argue that it's largely not worth it farming this boss as anything that's not in the easy category, but let's proceed anyway. If you are gonna be farming Fackle on these classes, I highly recommend getting the best PvE gear you can get, because none of these has much survivability when it comes to bosses. Also, I highly recommend bringing healing potion, bandages and any buffs, food, flask, potions, cross, anything, as this boss is really mean to these classes. And lastly, we got the category not worth it, and which is any healing spec, all mages and all warlocks. I mean. You probably can do it, but like it's not worth the time, trouble and like basically uh, the stress. Now let's talk about the boss. The boss fight consists of fighting Mandokir, two Zelots and four Zurian Tigers. The Tigers are just annoyance to be cleared down. Zelot Lore Khan, I hope I'm pronouncing it correct, but like I don't care, is a healer who needs to be interrupted. And Zelot Zaf is annoying as hell because he's disarming. Fekal himself is annoying mainly because he's silencing. None of these mobs dish out big amount of DPS but it, it adds up. When paired with the heals, disarms and silences, it can be deadly combo for many classes that is just slowly gonna wear them down. Any class that can kick and or interrupt has a massive advantage in this fight because of it and should use it. Also there is a catch. To get pa past the first phase of the fight, you must kill or free simultaneously. If you're gonna kill just Fekal or just one of the Zelots in 10 seconds, 
One of the surviving members of the trio will cast Uninterruptible Resurrection and bring the dead back to life with 100% HP. So how do you solo farm this boss? It's rather straightforward, just nuke them down. Like you literally just nuke all three of them down at the same time while kicking the heels of the of one of the zealots. I'm not pronouncing that name again. What throws wrench into the plan is fake of silence, which screws up screws everything up for casters, and the Zaz disarms, which screws everything up for hunters and melees. The deadly combination that usually causes wipe is getting silenced while low on health, and or a heal is being casted, or disarm while the heal is being casted. If you're a mana user, this boss will slowly drain down your mana, so be prepared and new heart. Second phase is extremely straightforward. Fecal transform... Fecal? Fecal transforms into his tiger form with buff DPS and starts spawning Zulian tigers periodically and throws you from time to time into air and most of the time he throws you in the... Uh, he throws you into some pack that you left behind, so clear everything. Just nuke the, him down and you're fine. This is about the only strategy you can employ here and that works right now for most classes. There used to be kiting strategy where you were able to kite the boss around tree trunk and like other like objects and there was also exploit ring which you made the boss despawn both of the zealots and skip to second phase. But as far as I'm aware both of these exploits are exploits and I'm not gonna teach you how to do them. And both of these has been allegedly patched out. Uh, if you want to learn how to do them, there's ton of like tutorials on YouTube, so do with it what you want. Uh, there are also a number of legit strategies for each class online. So if you want to know specific strategy for your class, and I didn't cover it because like I only gave you do like the basic strategy, just look online. <laughs> I cannot cover all the classes in one video. It would be too damn long. If you ask me, farming the boss solo on anything that's not DK is a waste of time and energy. I mean, Druid is fine, Warrior is fine, Paladin is fine, but like DK is easy mode. Get friend if if you cannot do it, just get friend who can heal you or maybe interact and just nuke the boss down, stress free, this way out. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in bonus part three where I'm gonna explain how to get exalted with Zandalari tribe.